Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of 2D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode, we finished off our GUI. It's the GUI that we have for now. We're going to add some more GUI later on when we actually have to start our game and end our game and that kind of thing. We put on the finishing touches. But for now, we have a fully operational GUI that allows us to both see our character's health and our enemy's health. All right, that's great. Now, what I'd like to do today is take a look at audio. Uh, we have no audio in this game yet, and audio goes a long way into making your game work well. Uh, that's the truth. A lot of a lot of uh, people, you know, don't think of the audio. A lot of people are like, oh, I'll just put anything in there. And and I'm not an audio person to be honest. Their audio is the is a a an entire uh, section of game development on its own. A lot of this stuff is GUI design. All this stuff, a lot of this is broken up into small sections when you actually get into a studio. As an indie developer, though, you are in charge of it all. And I urge you to very seriously. Uh, consider your audio. Uh, the wrong audio in a game, the wrong sounds can really turn people off. All right. So today we're just going to look at how audio works, and then afterwards you guys can put in the audio that you want. We'll take a look at a couple of examples. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, guys. Just before we get started, there is something I want to do, and I forgot to do it at the end of last episode. What I want you to make sure. Um, I want you to make sure your spiky rock, we made changes to the spiky rock we added in our GUI. What I forgot to tell you to do is make sure once you're done, select your spiky rock and say apply right here at the top. All right, and apply basic, basically says change uh, the prefab. So now this prefab here is going to match what we've got out here. All right, if we didn't do that, the prefab might not necessarily match. If we take a look now at our enemy health and that, we've got everything set up perfectly. All right, so that's exactly what we wanted to do. Perfect. Now, guys, what I want to do now is move on to audio. And the easiest place to start is with our uh, projectile, actually. So with our projectile selected, well, let's, let's take a look first at the main camera. If we take a look at the main camera, what we can see is there's something called an audio listener located on the main camera. It's a component on the main camera. If you haven't deleted it, then it should still be there. In every scene, uh, we can have exactly one audio listener. Okay, and that audio listener's job is to listen <laughs> for audio. All right, what we're going to add to individual components, individual objects, is an audio source. Uh, you don't have to have your audio listener on your camera. You can have it anywhere in your scene. You could have a special, uh, a special game object that you have your audio listener on it. And there's reasons why you might want to do that. But for now, we're just not going to touch it. We're going to leave it right here on the main camera. All right. Other objects, like let's say our projectile, is going to have on it something called an audio source. To add an audio source, it's really easy. Say add component, boop, find audio, find audio source, and click it. In doing so, you're going to end up with this additional component. Uh, you've got a couple of options in here. You can, you can well, we'll go over them as we go ahead. Um, Right at the very top, the audio clip is the source, is the actual audio clip that's going to play. Okay? So if you set everything up the way I did, in your audio, you should have all of your audio files. And I currently do. All right, right here is our slide, and that is the, that is the sound that I use whenever the rocket flies away. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it. That's one way of doing it. You can also click on this little circle here and find it, however you want to do it. I just dragged it and dropped it in there. So now, Whenever our projectile comes to life, play on awake is on, and that means as soon as our projectile comes to life, it's going to play that sound. Okay? Um, we're going to ignore everything else in here. It's not a loop we want to play once as the rocket flies away, and that's it. Uh, we're going to ignore everything else in here. Um, we're leaving it in. Our spatial blend is still 2D. Uh, if you actually set it up to be 3D, so it's by dragging this all the way over, it turns it into a 3D sound, uh, which means that distance from the camera and everything else has an effect on the actual sound itself. Uh, and it's it's based on this um, this graph right here, you can actually say that you know, as the object moves away, distance from the from the camera itself, play it at a certain level. We're not doing that. This is a 2D game, and I'm just going to keep using 2D sounds. Uh, the camera is following the character, and I kind of like I don't care about distance. I'm not saying like make a sound far away, so like you know, I hear water dropping or whatever far away in a dungeon or anything like that. I just want all the sounds to be kind of at the same level. All right, so. With just that single change, watch what happens when I actually hit play. Boop, play. Now, when I fire my rocket, we get our rocket 
flying away sound. All right, perfect, perfect. That's as easy as it is to add sound to your game. You might want to go through and adjust, you know, pitch and volume and everything else. Like maybe you're saying, oh, that's too loud. I only want it to be, you know, uh, I don't know, 0.6 of the volume. Whatever you want, you know, give it a try afterwards. You're going to adjust these sounds. Now, these things can also be adjusted, uh, can also be adjusted uh, through different uh, menus and that later on. And we're not going to get into that. We're just going to set up our sounds right now so they work. So kind of adjust the sounds so you like it. All right, that's how easy it was. That's how easy it was to add sound to to a uh, to something like this rocket firing. Now, let's just do it again. I'm going to do it again right now with the prefab. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to find my explosion. Uh, where did I make my explosion? Short rocket explosion right here. Once again, exactly the same thing. Add component. I'm going to add a an audio. I'm going to add a audio source. And in this, I'm going to once again, this time I'll use a little circle, I'm going to choose my sound. And this sound's going to be a uh, rocket explosion, I guess. I guess that's the right one for it. Now, what happens when I hit play? All right. Great. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to happen. Once again, guys, it's not a loop. It's only going to play once. It's going to play immediately upon the the instantiation of, of this rocket explosion right here. It's going to play immediately. That's all I want to happen. All right? You can go through and adjust your volume again, like I said. Let's say I say 0.6. And I'm just choosing a random number. Um, I don't know if that's the right values. Uh, let's say 0.6 or whatever. You adjust your volume the way you want it to play. All right, guys. So there's one other method of there, there's uh, many other methods, but there's one more way that I'm going to take a look at creating a sound. All right. Okay. So we saw how to make the audio play uh, just by setting this up, and it plays on awake, uh, and the audio clip's already defined. Everything's already defined, and it just plays that sound. It was really easy to do. We simply added the component, and bam. Now let's say we wanted more options. Let's say we wanted to go through and manipulate through code uh, our audio source. That's what we're going to do for the character, all right? It's going to allow us to have a few different options. Let's say we had like 10 different grunts. Like every time the, the player was like gets hurt, he wanted to go ooh for ah, e, and he wanted to choose randomly between between some of those sounds. Uh, it's very, very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do one, and then you can, you can go through and choose your others after. Um, so let's choose our character. And we're going to, we know right away that we're going to have to add a component, and we're going to have to add our audio source. All right, great. So there's our new component, our audio source, which means now our player can make sound. I'm not going to define an audio clip. All right, I'm not going to define a standard audio clip, and nothing's going to play on awake. All right, that's great. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into player health, which is right here already open. Uh, we're going to go into our player health, and we are going to add in a number of different things so we can control our audio source through code. All right, the first thing that we want to add in is I'm going to add in a public uh, audio clip, and this audio clip uh, is going to be our player hurt sound. All right, so I'm making it public, which means I can add, I, I can change it around. I can change it within my inspector. Great, I can define it in the inspector. I could actually make this into an array and make 10 different sounds and then make random noises depending on what happened, uh, or I could define a whole bunch of these. Anyway, let's go on. I also need a private uh, access to my audio source that I just added to the character. So this is going to be an audio source, uh, and let's call it uh, player AS. All right, so player audio source. All right, great. Now we have to define the player audio source. So right here, we're going to initialize it in our start menu, just like we've done in the past. Everything we're going to initialize. Let's let's find that component. Uh, to do that, we're going to say our player. AS is going to be equal to get component. You guys have done this a million times now. Get component. Uh, and it's going to be the audio source. Audio source. Bam. Close it and close those off. All right. That gives us the reference to our audio source. Now we can manipulate it through code. All right. We know that whenever our character gets hurt, we call this add damage script. So let's go into add damage and right under where we change our current health. Let's actually play a sound. All right, we have a couple of options. The first thing we want to do is define what sound we want to play. So our player AS, which is our audio source, dot clip, clip uh, is going to be equal to uh, to our player hurt sound. I think I called it. Yeah, player hurt. 
All right, so the first thing we're doing is we're actually, through code, setting this value, wherever that is. Uh, right there. We're setting that value right there. Okay, great. The next thing we want to do is we want to play it. We have a couple of different choices if we want to play this thing. Let's say uh, it, we, we wanted it to loop, or this was a loop or whatever, and we just wanted to play forever, start playing and just play forever. Uh, we could simply say player uh, as dot play, bam, and this would start everything playing. All right. Uh, in this situation, it's not set up to loop already. I don't actually physically have it set up to loop over here. But what we could do is we can just play do a player one shot. And to do a player one shot, it's play. I hope this is right because I don't remember one shot. Uh, player hurt. All right. So we didn't actually. We had two choices. <laughs> player hurt. Uh, if we wanted to physically set up our our uh, clip. So I, I physically defined our clip in here. I set up player hurt. Uh, if I didn't want, and I could just done, let me just type this up so you can see both. Oops, not there. Get back there, player hurt. Uh, if I want to, I could have now here said player as dot play. All right, so this is the first option. I could have done this. I could have set up my, my clip to play. Uh, play it once, or I can set it to play it once without having to define the clip over again. All right, so those are your two options. Let's just go with the, the first one for now. So this is going to set up my clip to play or hurt, and then it's going to play it. All right, I'm going to save this, file save, and let's go in and take a look at our character up here in our player health. We should now have a player hurt sound, and then boom, I'm going to set it to player grunt. Uh, now, when my player gets hurt, bam, and I Perfect, all right? That worked like that. Now, that's really great. That's the sound we wanted. And we could have set it up so there was a whole bunch of different sounds. Like, we could have set up, instead of just one player hurt, we could have had an array of player hurts, a grunt, a groan, a moan, an ouch. And each time, all we had to do is go in through here and play, uh, play the clip, all right? That's all we had to do. Okay, and, and you could set it up so that player hurt was defined as a new clip each time. All right, some random value. Uh, that would add some spice to the game. That would add a, like you know some some differences to the game, so it wasn't always the same grunt noise. It could always be something different. All right, that is perfect, and that is the sound of a player. And we did everything there through code. Now let's look at the other option. If we just use this player one shot, let me comment this out instead. Boop boop. Mm, boop boop. And let's dump this and say file save. And this is just going to play it once. Now it's going to be the player one shot. And I hit play. Bam. Now, when I run and I jump, same thing. All right? So you have two options. Boom. Option number one was, oops, I turned everything off. Option number one was to define the clip, play that clip, or it was to uh, play a one shot like this. In this situation, the one shot works fine, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to say file, and I'm going to, oh, it's already saved. All right, so that's all saved, and that's working great. Now, the last thing I want to look at in today's episode is music, okay? Uh, how to set up the music. Well, let's take a look at that. And I'm only showing you this because it's going to allow us to play two sounds at the same time. Right now, you might be thinking like, oh, I've got an audio clip in one, an audio clip in the other, and I never hear the two at the same time. So watch what happens when we actually have everything kind of going at the same time. You have a bunch of different ways of doing this, uh, of adding sound, uh, sorry, adding music to your game. Um, I am going to, for now, uh, I'm just going to add to the main camera. This is probably not the best way. What you should really be doing is creating some kind of game manager. Uh, and adding your audio source and and doing it all from there. But for now, I'm just going to add it to uh, to here to my main camera. All right, I'm going to add component. I'm going to add an audio source. Boop, audio source to the camera itself, and I'm going to choose a clip. The first thing I want it to do is I want it to play on awake because I want it to start playing right away, and I want it to loop. All right, and I don't want my volume to be very high. Let's put this at uh, decimal two five. All right, I don't want it to be very high because this is my background music. You could go through later on and set up the screens that allow you to adjust all of your sounds and that kind of thing. And I think it's probably a really good uh, idea, a really good exercise. I didn't go into it here, and maybe I will in some future episodes. Uh, for now, we're just taking a look at really basic prototyping stuff, all right? So I've got myself an audio source here. All I have to do is add an audio clip. Bam. And I've chosen uh, Farming in the Darkness. There is a lot. Oops, I clicked on the wrong thing twice. Um, there is a lot of free music out there, guys. Uh, I use Techno Axe. He is a he is a YouTuber. 
Uh, he he does a lot of really really great music. Techno acts. Look him up. Uh, I'll try and link him down below. Uh, look him up though. He's got a lot of great music on there. All, all of it's free to use. All of it's free to use. All right. So this is one of his songs, "Farming in the Darkness." Now, watch what happens when I hit play. Bam. I got music right away, and music and sounds at exactly the same time. All right. Guys, I hope you liked that episode. I hope you enjoyed that episode. It took us through all of the concepts of sound. Uh, go through now and try adding sounds of your own. Try adding in sound for when your when your enemy dies. You know, add different things like that. Add you know sounds uh, when the enemy explodes or whatever you want. All right, guys, go through, make your games sound great. That's going to go a long way in making your games fun to play, enjoyable, and stimulating for the player. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. Maybe I didn't cover what you wanted to. Let me know down below. If you give me a thumbs down, that's great, but make sure you tell me what you didn't like and why you didn't like it, and I will go through and try and make changes. This is for you guys, not for me. You guys are the ones who are watching this. I know how to do it. So if I'm not teaching you right, right then that's my fault, all right? And you guys got to let me know. Okay? Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.